From New York, from beautiful Bayville, on the glorious Gold Coast of Long Island's North Shore, let's welcome our old friend, Jackie the Joke Man Martling. For endless jokes, say, Alexa, play Jackie Martling. Follow Jackie on Twitter at Jackie Martling. Jokes every day at 4.20 p.m. International Marijuana Time. Instant fun called Jackie's Dirty Joke Line. Use your finger, 516-922-WINE. And you want to brighten up your next Zoom conference? Big fun. Email Jackie. Jackie, jokeland at AOL.com. Hello, Jackie. Mommy, mommy, why does Uncle Eddie have his pants off? Shut up and turn over. <laughs> oh, come on, Jackie. <laughs> These are nice people. <laughs> so three moles are going up the mole hole <laughs> when the first mole stops short. What are the other two moles doing? <laughs> what? Smelling the asses. <laughs> Jesus. What's the worst thing a mother can say to her kid? What? I could have swallowed you. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. How do you find a needle in a haystack? How? Burn the fucking hay. <laughs> 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 a woman says, my husband's coming down the hall. My husband's coming down the hall. Jump out the window. He says, you're crazy. We're on the 13th floor. She says, this is no time to be superstitious, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> A dyslexic walks into a bra. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so Friedman, Friedman's just about to putt when a golf ball comes flying out of nowhere and hits him in the foot. He runs down the fairway and yells to the golfers behind him, Who hit that ball? It hit me in the foot. It hurt me. It's going to cost you $5,000. One of the guys in the forest says, Hey, I yelled four. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear about the seventh grader who broke into his father's Viagra? No. <laughs> they had to rush him to the hospital with third degree burns on his hands. <laughs> 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 so how do we know that pussy is unappreciative? <laughs> how? Well, the better you treat it, the better the chance it'll spit back at you. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Come on. So a guy says to the bartender, nah, I just got divorced. Bartender says, sorry, pal. Yeah, well, would you want to be married to a rude, obnoxious know-it-all? The bartender says, fuck no. He says, yeah, neither would she. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Feldman, how do you know when you're getting old? How? Well, you start making the same noises as your coffee maker, your memory's not as sharp as it used to be, and your memory's not as sharp as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> so one day Noah, okay, one day Noah is fishing off the side of the ark. He turns and he yells, hey, Somebody please toss me the other worm. <laughs> <laughs> so Dirty Johnny's walking past his parents' bedroom and sees him fucking. He says, hey, Pop, what are you doing? He says, son, we're making you a baby brother. The next night, his father walks in from work and Johnny's crying. He says, what's the matter, Johnny? He says, Pop, you know that baby brother that you and Mom made me last night? Today, Aunt Mindy ate him. <laughs> <laughs> so what did the white gerbil say to the brown gerbil? What? What's with the corn in your fur? No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the bartender says, so Stakowski, did you ever get those vanity license plates you're always talking about? He says, nah, they were way too fucking expensive. So I changed my name to HKL 463. <laughs> 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 so the first cowboy, all right, here we are, out west. The first cowboy says, this morning that new bull come at me like a goddamn locomotive. Oh, thank God he slipped. Second cowboy says, that monster, that big freaking bull, man, out of shit. First cowboy says, what the hell you think he slipped in? <laughs> <laughs> so why do female 
black widow spiders kill the males after they mate. Why? <laughs> to stop the snoring before it starts. <laughs> 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 so a guy walks in and says to the bartender, quick, god damn it, oh man, give me three shots of Jack Daniels, quick. Dude, what's the problem, pal? Dad, I just went to a girl's apartment, when we got out of bed, I looked down and there was a condom hanging off my cock. <laughs> the bartender's yeah, he says, well, I, I didn't use one. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the worst thing about 69ing? What? The view. <laughs> <laughs> so a guy says to his grandson, a guy says to his grandson, John, how was your, how was your car ride with Grandma? Was your car ride with Grandma as much fun as it is with me? He says, no way, Grandpa. We didn't see any stupid assholes, dumb bastards, <laughs> cocksuckers, or lousy shitters. <laughs> <laughs> so the kid's at the dinner table and he says, Hey, Ma, where did I get my intelligence? She says, Well, John, you must have gotten it from your father because I still have mine. <laughs> <laughs> so the sales girl says to the guy, What would you like? He says, Well, I'd like a blow job, but what I need is a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> So the elephant says to the camel, why is there a breast on your back? And the camel says, why is there a cock on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Two old guys in Miami Beach are sitting on a park bench. And the first guy says, windy, ain't it? The second guy says, no, no, it's, it's, it's Thursday. The first guy says, hey, so am I, let's go get a beer. <laughs> so the first Indian says, why you call him squaw three horses? And the second Indian says, nag, nag, nag. <laughs> Oh, so a guy says to his therapist, Doc, I don't know what to do. Jesus Christ, every night, every fucking night, my wife goes to Larry's bar looking for men. Doc, she's fucking everybody, Doc. She's fucking everybody. It's making me nuts. What should I do? The doctor says, take a deep breath, relax, calm down, and give me the directions for Larry's bar. <laughs> <laughs> The Stokowski brothers, our favorites, okay? Yes. The Stokowski brothers are in New York City for the first time, and they're standing in front of the YMCA. <laughs> and the first brother says, I can't believe they spelled Macy's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> for personalized videos, go to cameo.com forward slash Jackie Martin. I got to thank you. I have been doing so many of those, and I think it was me mainly thanks to doing these jokes with you, well, but I, I'm doing like three, four, five, six a day. It's great. Well, I can't imagine anything more fun to give as a gift to somebody than Well, that. you know, I never know how rude to get. You know, sometimes they say get the dirtier the better, but sometimes they don't. They, it's like a guy, a girl, and his sister, and they say this is for a dad, for Father's Day. I'm like, hey, you old cocksucker. You know? <laughs> But I got like 55 star reviews, so I'm doing all right. That's fantastic. So go to cameo.com forward slash Jackie Martling, and he'll record a, a personal video for somebody you love or hate. And we'll talk to you next week, Jackie. Thank so you. the farmer, the farmer heads out to the field, and an hour later he realizes he forgot his lunch pail. So he goes home to get it. He walks in the house, and his wife is lying naked on the kitchen floor, and their dentist is standing there naked right next to her. The dentist squats down and says, I, 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 I'm glad you're here, Farmer Bales. I, I was just telling your wife that if she doesn't pay your dental bill, I'm going to shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I got one. I got one corker. I got to do one corker. Okay. It's 1946. Durkin has a seaside bar and grill on the boardwalk in Coney Island. The business sucks. It's so bad. It's midnight. The joint is completely empty. He decides he's had it. He's going to lock the door for the last time. That's it. Suddenly, a clam walks in. 
And the clam says, too late to get a gin and tonic? Durkin says, I guess not. What the hell? And he goes by the bar and serves the clam a drink. And the clam has a couple of drinks, and the clam's telling Durkin about his hard life, sprinkles in a few funny stories and a few jokes. And he says, hey, yeah, uh, you mind if I play the piano? And Durkin's like, well, what the hell? Go ahead. So the clam sits at the piano and starts pounding away, singing his heart out, singing songs he wrote, singing old classics. He's got Durkin laughing and singing along. A few people walk by. They see him. They come in. They start drinking. Pretty soon, the place is full. The clam never stops, and everybody stays right up until Durkin throws him out. And after they're gone, Durkin says to the clam, you know, you ain't dead, pal. What's your name? The clam says, I'm Joe. You want me to come back tomorrow night? He says, you kidding? I want you here every night. Durkin puts a sign in the window, tonight on the piano, Joe the clam. For the next few months, every night, the place is packed to the hill. Six nights a week, Durkin is swimming in cash. There's women everywhere. Joe's a local celebrity. Durkin is just rolling. One Monday, it's the afternoon of their day off. Joe drags himself into the bar, and his shell is all busted up, hanging off him in pieces. He's a mess. Durkin says, Jesus, Joe, what happened? And Joe the clam says, Dad, you know, I was under the pier with this hot starfish and her fucking lobster boyfriend, Claudius. He, he beat me up pretty bad. So Durkin takes him upstairs to the apartment over the bar and tucks him into bed, and he says, listen, you just rest, Joe, and you're going to be fine. Now, listen, I got a date tonight. You know that blonde has been coming around for it with me? I finally got a date with her tonight, so later on, if we come in and I manage to get her in bed, just don't say nothing. Just stay out of the way. Durkin takes the blonde to dinner. They get loaded. He brings her up to the apartment. They get undressed. They climb into bed, and they really go to it. And the next morning, oh, he's feeling like a million dollars, and he's thinking about the night before, and he looks over and sees the beautiful girl, and he smiles. He, he says, did you have a good time last night? She says, oh, it was so wonderful. <laughs> and how about the end? What are you talking about? He says, at the end, how about when I went down on you? She says, you didn't go down on me. He says, oh, fuck, I ate my best friend. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, Jackie. We'll talk to you next week. I can't wait to one day tell you the story of that joke. I love you, Phil. I love you, too. Thank you. you. Call in your backup econ now, see if we can get some more brain power in this. We thing. got one here.